what conversations about money need to happen early in the home? I think um, we have to build the actual culture in our home of understanding that children can follow their dreams or their passions or their interests. Um, I have the same idea about homeschooling. It's about following the child's interest and creating lessons around what they're actually interested in so that they're more engaged in what you're teaching them. I remember our kids when they were little, this was over 10 years ago, I think they were six and eight or something like that. They're now 19 and almost 17. Um, they actually had a YouTube channel and they were learning how to code. And the reason why I did that is because at the time I had an online talk show and they loved that I have it and they wanted to do something similar. And then the second thing was they were always on video games. And I was like, you know, rather than just playing video games that other people made, why don't you take an interest in the background of how these are created? And they actually, at that young age, were able to create cartoons and stuff. Um, in this day and age, um, you know, coding and technology are so valuable. Um, so that's that, that's what I think you can do. You can always follow. I remember when I was in graduate school, I'm going to age myself a over 20 years ago. There was this concept that was introduced called multiple intelligences. And I think there was 10 or 11 of them. And everybody has a level of brilliance in them that if you find it and tap into it, you can follow it um, and you can really be successful. So I've always liked that as well. So um at the end of the day, it requires a parent to actually be engaged and interested and involved in building that culture in the home and then, you know, teaching their children to follow the, along those same tracks. Uh, my name is Noma Langa.